I want to ask you, uh, Fed Chair Jay Powell in the last uh, couple of days uh, sitting before Congress said he needs what he said was a little bit more evidence to be confident inflation is falling. And he said, we're not looking for better inflation readings. We just need to have more of them. I wonder, does that describe your what you would need or your test for being confident to be able to reduce rates? Yeah, thanks, Steve, for having me. I mean, I, I would like to see inflation move down a couple more data points that we, so we can be confident on that sustainable path to 2%. And whether that's a little bit more evidence or a little bit more evidence, you know, that's in the eye of the beholder. But I want to I feel comfortable that the January uh, inflation reading, which went up a bit more than the markets were expecting, that we can revert that and inflation coming back down. And I do think that if the economy evolves the way I anticipate, which is a little bit of more moderation on the demand side um, in terms of a little bit more moderate um, employment growth and uh, you know, not as strong as spending as we saw last year, but that moderating, that we'll be in a position later this year to begin uh, taking back some of the restrictive policy that we had to put in place to fight inflation. Do you feel like you have time to make this decision, or are you worried about the idea that the economy could weaken in a way that you don't expect? No, I mean, my forecast is that the economy is going to remain um, pretty solid. You know, growth will moderate. We had like 3% growth last year. I think we'll be below that this year, and employment growth will moderate. But I think the, the goal here of the Fed, to my mind now, is Let's ensure that inflation is on that sustainable path back to 2% while labor markets remain healthy. And that's kind of this balancing um, and risk management that I think we're going to be uh, really is going to characterize policy this year. Is how do you balance the risk? I mean, early, early on, it was all focused on inflation because we had to. The labor markets are strong and inflation was way, way above 2%. Right. And so we rightly focused on that part of the dual mandate. I think this year... We do have to now, with inflation coming down, is, is really take into account the risks around both parts of our mandate and calibrate pro policy to achieve both parts. President Mester, um, I have to listen to uh, the congressmen uh, ask and congressmen and women ask questions of the chair, and they don't necessarily get to the questions I want to ask. So thankfully, I've got you here. One of the things I would have loved to have uh, seen them ask is how much restraint do you really feel is being put on this economy? There are ways of looking at it and say, you know what, this economy doesn't look like the Fed funds rate at 5 and th 538 is restraining it at all. On the other hand, there's this theoretical construct, which is how much higher you are relative to the long run neutral rate. So what is your best guess to the extent to which uh, how much restraint is being put on the economy? Well, I think policy is restrictive. I think we have seen it on the demand side. If you think about the most interest rate sensitive parts of the economy, business spending and investment you know, was down last year. Um, I think it'll moderate further this year. The housing market, we've seen um, also the, the effects there in terms of uh, sales and starts. So it is affecting the economy. I think in real time, the long run neutral rate probably isn't the right benchmark to be looking at. It's, it's what is the short run neutral rate. And we saw in the pandemic that because of the supply side disruptions that that had gone up. So over time, you know, I think the job of the Fed is going to be to try to normalize or bring rates into a more neutral stance over time, realizing that you know, we want to do it in a way that's very respectful of both parts of our mandate, i.e. inflation coming back down to 2% on that path and the labor market side of the economy remaining healthy. And over time, I think the, the neutral rate will, the short run neutral rate will be coming back as the supply side heals. Uh, and we need to uh -huh. navigate in that environment. So it could very well be that over the longer run, we have a higher neutral funds rate. I think a lot of people are thinking about that. Um, we've seen right. very strong productivity growth numbers. If they last and trend productivity is higher than before, maybe potential growth is higher and maybe the long run neutral rate is higher as well. But we don't need to know that today. What we need to know today is, right. is inflation coming back to 2% Are labor markets remaining healthy and navigate to that. President Mester, one of your colleagues talked about something that he called pent-up exuberance, his concern that once the Federal Reserve starts cutting rates, that you would have this uh, 
windfall of investment or, or, or avalanche of investment and other behavior that might be uh, push up inflation. Is that a concern of yours as well? Well, you know, when we talk to a lot of businesses and, you know, a lot of them say like, well, you know, the higher rates did make me put some of my plans on hold. I don't think I'm very concerned that is, is, is when we start making policy less restrictive, it's still going to remain restrictive, that we'll see a big boost um, in a lot of projects that will put pressure on inflation moving back up. But this is the normal sort of monetary policy making, if you will, right? We, we have to be attuned to both the demand side and the supply side of the economy. In this pandemic period, it was a lot of supply side that we're not used to seeing move as much as it did. And we're attuned to the demand side. And we'll navigate that as we go forward. I'm not hearing from a lot of our businesses that they're, you know, have a lot, a lot of activity they plan. But I do think they, right. they say you know, when interest rates begin to move down, you know, some of the things we put on pause, you know, we'll be rethinking them. And we'll have to just be cognizant of that as we go forward and navigate that, which is why I think when we begin, you know, to, to move the, the Fed funds rate down, we'll probably do it in a gradual way so that we can be very respective and do that risk, man risk balancing that we need to do going forward.